Hey guys, Lee from Lee's Cardistry here, and I'm going to start doing a little series of um, walkthroughs and tutorials of Magic's Movie Edit Pro 17 HD, which is my current video editing software, and I will just walk through some of these to make it a little easier for you guys if you are trying to choose a software. I completely recommend this software, and let's get right into it. We're going to open Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, there's our um, loading page. We'll wait a couple of seconds. <clears throat> I do not want to uh, start a new project because I won't be uploading this video to YouTube. You want to click obviously import file and I'm going to select this clip right here which is 001. This was my green screen test. It's going to ask do you want to um, um, adjust the resolution. I don't want to adjust and oh, as you can see right here you have your clip right here. You're going to come up to the top right corner, you're going to click edit. Now, I want to explain something real quick. When I first opened this up, it was on this. As you can see right here, right where the mouse is, you want to move to here because in this form and this form, you didn't get any audio or uh, timeline of the video. So, you really want to be on here it also makes it a lot easier to uh, chroma key and green screen especially adding a picture behind it okay so now we're gonna get into the effect we're gonna come up here to effects we're gonna click effects we're gonna click video effects here we're gonna click chroma key okay it's gonna ask so you're just gonna click this clip right here now we have white black Alpha, water, blue, and green. Blue and green are going to be our most standard ones. And I have a green screen. I'm not sure if you might have a blue screen, but we're going to click green. Okay. Now, when you come here for the first time, the threshold and the fading range will be at, um, <clears throat> will be all the way over to the right. What you want to do, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, you can find your own way of doing it. You want to find fading range and drag it all the way down. In my opinion, we put threshold right in between alpha and black. Now, I'm running multiple programs, so it's this video might be a little slow, and you can hear the audio, so I'm going to try and speak loud. As you can see, there's my arm. You can see it does have a little blotchy, and you can change this, but this is just for this version and it looks pretty good especially if you're not moving too much for what I have learned that is it for um, chroma key D the next tutorial I'm gonna try and do these every day but the next tutorial will be adding an image um, on to the black screen behind you this is it for this tutorial I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good day. Please subscribe. And I hope you have a good day. Peace.